Communication is never what is said, it is what is heard. And whether or not you are speaking to an individual or a small group or a large crowd, people are always asking three questions. First, can I trust you? Second, do you care for me personally? And third, do you know what you're talking about? I'm firmly convinced that in order for us to be believed, we have to be heard. The question then is, how are you really heard? How do you talk so that people will really listen? I am also convinced that the answer to the questions of trust, care, and knowledge can be wrapped up in 90% of what we do, which is nonverbal communication. It's the spirit or the mood that we project when we communicate with one another. It's not just the words that we say, it's the message behind the words. Aristotle believed this. If you've taken any speech communication class in college or even in high school, you've been taught about the word persuasion. And Aristotle, many, many years ago, said there are three ingredients in how you persuade someone. First, you have to have ethos, which is an English word we come from that term meaning ethic or character, who you really are deep down. The second thing you have to have is not only ethos, you have to have pathos. You have to truly care about the other individual. So not only is there a character issue involved, but there's a compassion issue involved. Do you care for me personally? And third, and notice the order of all of this, he said then and finally, and only then, do you have logos or content, the word is literally what it meant. I am firmly convinced that a person has come across as a person of ethos, pathos, and then logos. Why is that true? The old adage that we've heard many times, people don't care how much you know till they know how much you care, is absolutely spot on. And the reason is, is because people go through presentation fatigue all the time. Uh, it sounds scripted, it sounds canned, but really, out of the heart comes the issues of life. And that's why, do you pass the smell test? Are you a person of character first, then compassion, and finally, I'll buy your content if you pass the first two barriers. What's that really talking about? What it's really saying is this. Be yourself, love your audience, and do your homework. Be yourself, which is authentic. It's Real. People go wild over real people. Be who you are. Don't be an imitation. Be authentic. Be credible. Secondly, the whole issue of pathos. Do you truly seek the other person's best interests? Is this a performance? It'll come across as a performance. But if you are really out of yourself, meaning you're more audience-centered than you are message-centered, People sense you really want them to believe what you're saying. And finally, the whole idea of logos, it's always appropriate to be adequately prepared for every situation. The more you know, the more you can move it to understanding, the more you can move it to wisdom. Here's the mantra. You have to be believed in order to be heard.